Yuri, my favorite, um, my favorite um, former co-host from fucking No Jumper, and somebody that that really agitates me, <laughs> more so because he's like the opposite of what I am as a man or as a dude or as a guy or as a human, in that he's super whiny and complainy. He likes to argue all the time, especially with women. But he treats his girl like like shit. He thinks he's smarter than what he is. Um, you know, just everything that I kind of hate, that I kind of don't like to do. He obviously embodies that. And as a streamer, he's even more so annoying, right? He's obnoxious, you know, insufferable personality, especially with him trying to copy the whole Ice Poseidon thing, which is obviously one of the worst sort of like role models you can have in terms of a streamer because his entire career was based on just annoying people and being a fucking piece of shit and a cunt. So he kind of looks up to him. So that's obviously annoying. So this is an interesting clip because the title says Yuri gets into an argument with a cashier. So I want to see what happens here because I haven't watched this actually. So we'll watch this together. I want to see what actually happens during this argument with a cashier. What happens? Because he's on live stream, does his IRL streams where he walks around the city causing havoc, hoping people fucking tip him. And that's how he makes his living. And obviously this IRL life, there's a portion of people who also just get into altercations for the content. They're getting exactly M Pond exactly 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 call it exactly. Um M Pond is yeah, he did he did that rug pull, didn't he? Um Ice Poseidon with the fucking cryptocurrency where he scammed everyone and he was completely happy about it. So um there's also a side of IRL streamers that purposely get themselves in drama for content. You're not drinking, you're just I don't even I just met that guy like two seconds ago. I don't even know who he is. So I guess the cashier is asking for ID from everybody in a group or something, right? And I guess he's trying to say, I'm not with the other guys, I'm here by myself. But she's still asking for ID. Oh, just give the fucking ID and get it over and done with. Guys like this are super bitch made, in it? Guys who like getting in altercations and verbal spats with women are so odd. As a man, you should just be able to just you know, suck it up and move on or just try and defuse the situation. You shouldn't be there shouting, exchanging fucking shouting verbiage with a woman. It's just so unbecoming. It's so unmanly. It's so ungentlemanly. Like, try to defuse the situation or try and walk away. But standing there arguing, like, like especially with a cash, like, it's a job. Like, just help. Like, she wants an ID, give her the fucking ID. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Do you want a drink or not? If you don't, go somewhere else. Oh, that's a bad yeah, you can see my ID. I know about them. They're not drinking. And I hate that condescending voice he has as well, he puts on. You can see my ID. I don't know about them. They're not drinking. Right? Some of their objections. I don't know what I don't know why you're bugging out for. Calm down. Right? Is that kind of like obnoxious fucking up his own ass, insufferable voice thing he's going on? Oh, he's so annoying, Yuri, man. And the thing about it, he's like 30. It's like, bro, grow up, man. This is cute when you're like in your early 20s or you're like, you're a Kai Sina type of guy. Even Kai Sina is getting blowback for some of the stuff that he's doing. Or like, a, you know, I show speed. You're, you're, you're nearly 30, bro. Like, what are you doing? Let's sit the same vodka. We're, we're together. Bro. <laughs> we're together. I'll show you my ID, man. What the fuck is going on here, dude? That, vo that smile he's got, that fucking... You don't see a more punchable face ever. You've never seen one. A more punchable face. Look at that. Look at this guy. You would never imagine this guy's from the Soviet Union. He's so bitch made. Like, he's a complete opposite of what you'd imagine somebody that's from that side of the world, right? You would imagine them, you'd imagine like the typical Eastern European, sort of like Central European stereotype, right? Tough men, you know, solid, dependable, principled, right? But not somebody that's here arguing with fucking cashiers and shit. Like, who is this guy? Look at his face. Dude. So when you get served at a bar, it is a legal requirement that I check your ID and anyone that's here. I've been exactly. to a bar many a times. At this bar, uh -huh. it is a legal requirement that I check your ID, his ID, and anyone that may be with you. 
Isn't that like a typical thing though? Don't get me wrong, not all bars do it, but if you're acting like a prick, if they want to, because usually I think in these sort of occasions, if you act like a prick, a bartender can go out of their way to make your experience miserable. I know I've done it myself working in shops and stuff. If you're acting like a prick, I can then go about, I can then go down the rules. I can then abide by the rules and make your life miserable because you're making my, my job hard. So if you want to make my job hard, cool, I'm going to make your job hard. So there'd be times I work in a shop where the manager's not in store and they're like, can I have a refund? If you're nice and you're cool, I might give you the refund without a receipt if I'm having a, it, it, you know, if you catch me in a good day and we get, you know, we have a good initial communication. But if you come in with an attitude, I'm going to request you give me the receipt. And if the receipt is not legible, if I can't read it or if it's ripped, I might tell you you can't get the refund because you're being a cunt to me. So it's actually on you as a customer to try and, you know, be a pleasant person so you can get what you want. Even if the guys around you don't have an idea, be like, hey, sorry to disturb you. I know I'm being, I know we're being a bit noisy and because Ruckus, I really do apologize, but it's my friend's birthday. We don't all have ID, but I just want to get him a drink. Is that okay? Like if you actually approach it in a nice way, maybe you could get lucky and a woman, you know, hey, I'm going to keep an eye on you guys. Make sure you keep your friend in check, but I'm going to give you a drink. But if you, if he fucks up and I hear another complaint from somebody, I'm going to have to chuck you guys out. Okay, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. It's only me. I've only got that. And they'll kind of let you off. But if you're a piece of shit and you're getting, you're fucking tickling her fucking, you know, you're touching her pussy for lack of a better term, you're fucking touching her balls, she's allowed to be like, okay, cool, let's go then. Give me all your ID. And it all has to be within, um, expiry date has to be more than fucking a year or something. You're allowed to do that. I'm with you, that's fine. But if he's with you, I need to forget. You can see his ID. You just asked for his. And they've all got the fucking insufferable streamer smile. <laughs> We're getting into an altercation with a stranger. <laughs> they've all got that same smile. Look at us talking to a stranger rudely. A person just trying to earn a wage. It's always service industry people. Just some of the worst jobs ever because you encounter all the worst humans. Look at us. <laughs> Honestly, I wish some of those fucking missiles and bombs that are landing in certain places in the Middle East would land directly on where these guys are standing. Berkeley is exactly what I told you guys it was. Look at that voice. Uh, guys, chat, chat, chat. Guys, guys. Bro, please, please. Here you go, ma'am. If he's not in your party, that's fine. Okay. You can understand why I might think that, right? Yeah, and all I said is I barely know him. And you said, why are you freaking out? I was, it's a weird request. I've never heard this request. Did I say something else? Exactly. Oh, I, I love that. See, Yuri thinks he can gaslight this woman the same way he manipulates and gaslights you know what's her face barely there fucking riley right she's unfortunately barely there and you know maybe it's the drugs maybe it's the personality maybe it's autism who knows but he can manipulate her because you know she's barely there and she kind of needs him but this is a grown-up this is an actual well-adjusted grown-up you can't just say stuff and think you're gonna get into that their head and you know whatever do your little games you said why are you or you said something about like me like no, having oh it. look he's backtracking now i thought you knew what she said though you said something about like you said you said like 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 so you think i'm gonna kick you out i'm not i can go to another bar i'm not scared about getting kicked out here i just thought it was a weird request i think the point of me saying that was i don't intend to kick you out okay can i just have a shot can i see your ID? <laughs> yes here you go yes dang dude honestly oh i want to punch this guy in the face so bad oh my god bro yuri is an insufferable cunt isn't he Dude, this bar has the best vibes i love it this place is a hoot if you're not li if you're not liberal they're getting mad it's a college town it's a college bar she can lose her job if you're not checking i'm not exactly and the customer has to say the same thing to her has to jump in and back her up. It's a college town. If he doesn't ask her, it doesn't matter even a college thing. Like, just give the fucking ID. It's annoying, we know, but give the ID. If they don't give the ID, go to another bar and say, hey, I don't have my ID. Can I have a drink here? I'm not mad about her checking my ID. That's very normal. She's asking to check this random dude's ID that I just met two seconds ago. That's a little, that's a little ridiculous. How many college if I bought it and I handed him the thing, <laughs> oh my god, dude. If anything, Thank you. Service, you know she's keeping I think she should check everyone's ID because I could give the shot to anyone. Oh, else. shut up, you fucking dick. Only, honestly, what a 
bitch made guy who who argues with women like this and enjoys this this guy is like i can't believe he literally made that girl cut he he he, he made her tired she turned like okay i'll give up he's so ex he's so exhausting he made that girl turn around like okay i'll give up man this guy is beyond help whatever she's tired he, he tired her out <laughs> at this point bro that's that's ridiculous dude that's ridiculous dude that's ridiculous dude that's ridiculous dude and i hate when he does he stuck me with his fucking arms oh god he needs to get run over by a landmower or so, by a lawnmower or something. What, what the fuck? This is the first time I've ever had this experience at a bar, bro. I've been to a million bars. Shout out to fucking everyone in the chat. What was going on? I think it's because we're not wearing rainbow colors. Bro, I would. Anyway, whatever. Yuri's a piece of shit. It's an easy situation to understand. They're underage. They started talking and looking like they were friends. She didn't want the situation where he's buying them drinks and getting them drunk and then she gets in trouble or whatever. They're just all just being cunts and she went to make their experience a little bit more insufferable because they were making her life insufferable. Just for the ID. Just kill it. Defuse the situation. Agree with everything. Give the ID. Get your drinks and keep it moving. And now he's talking about liberal consent. Like, shut up, Yuri, you fucking donut.